guys, what's up? This is my Tarkov modding guide to all the guns that I usually use, and I thought I'd go ahead and share how I like to mod my guns. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start with the ones that I use the most. Um, things that I find important in gun modding are you need to have available scopes. Uh, two different, usually I try to go for a long range and a short range scope, because you never know what you're going to get into. Um, definitely you need a foregrip. I try to go for typically the best in class, almost everything, and then and then it looks kind of come in um, second. So let's go ahead and start out with the gun that I typically use the most which is the AK-74M. Um, let's go ahead and opt into the modding section here. Um, like I said before, got the um, longer range scope, which is a 2.5 times scope with the PK-06 on the side. Uh, foldable stock here, the um, PK, uh, PK-3, I think it is. And then you got whatever foregrip you have. I just kind of stuck this one on it. And then you got a PWS... Um, Muzzle break. Either this one or the DTK-1 are good. Uh, definitely go over the best in class foregrip. Uh, another RK-3 if you want to save some money. Um, that's like, I think, one ergonomics less than this one. But I always go for the best in class. Definitely get a RP-1. It helps plus one ergonomics. Uh, I try to go for the best mag in class. Um, so, everything always helps. Um... And of course, you can go for the for the longer ones. I just know that I like this one because I can use or the longer um, hand guards because I like to use the PK PK06 um, tended sight just so I have that option. You know, you've got the the longer range scope and you can change the shorter one. But that's how I like to use my AK74M when I do use it. Uh, next, we'll go over the AKM. Uh, I'm going to go over this in usual use of of how I kind of get them in a wipe. Um, this is how I like to mod my AKM, again with the longer range scope, the shorter range one as well. Um, this is the other foregrip I was talking about, or um, handguard I was talking about, because this one and the tracks are really the only ones that look decent. You can mount a uh, candid sight on it. Um, I decided to go for the best recoil in class. Well, not the best recoil, it's got ergonomics and recoil. There is one, I think it's the, the dragon or whatever it is, that has plus one more ergonomics. Or no, my, plus... Minus one more recoil, but it's minus one ergonomics. So I, I wanted to get a little bit of ergonomics. Uh, best stock in class for recoil, it's minus 49, and then plus 11 ergonomics. Uh, again, with the MOE uh, foregrip, uh, this is the best mag. The palms are the... No, I don't know if these are... Which, which ones are these? Um, I want its equipment. It is the Palm US AK. So I think this one's got like minus one ergo and then um, minus 10 to speed. So... Of checking and unloading so other than that the rest of its preference figure out what scope you want um I just try to go for two scopes i went for recoil on this one just because it is 7.62 and it does kick a bit more than the uh, 545 sadly this thing cannot fold um which is a shame so decided to go for this one over the folding one just for that little bit of extra uh recoil and i could do the same for the um for the 545 ak i just went with that for that one so uh and that's the um 7.62 AK. We'll go ahead and move on to the next gun I usually get in a wipe, which would usually be the MPX, the M4, or the M1A. I'm going to go ahead and go over the M1A real quick. So this is the only one you should use, is the Lee Enfield stock, which I'm pretty sure is what it's called. Oh, the SAS. The Troy SAS chassis or the uh, M14. So um, this is all you should be using. The other two are okay, really not good. Um... This is definitely the one you should use. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's the one to go for. But now they're on to like M4 base type stuff. Uh, what you want to do is you usually want to use the advanced stock. Don't use the ionized one. Uh, that one's just too expensive and ridiculous. If you want to go for like the ultra best, you can, but that's 100,000. This is 10 and it just doesn't give you the ergonomics and a little bit less recoil, I'm pretty sure. But with this stock, you get around, so four for the buffer tube, seven for the actual stock and then like one for the rubber butt pad which is like pretty high i think it's seven so it's seven seven ergonomics on the stock and then one that's eight ergonomics with a recoil of four 35 and i think four again or three or something like that so it's, it's better than any stock you can get so if you can get a stock get the moe stock for this one if you're using an ak use the ak stocks just because those are better and built for recoil uh, this is the best foregrip in class. I'm pretty sure this is 8 ergonomics. I use the 30 round mags just because the 50 rounds are a little bit insane. I don't ever think I'm going to use that much, especially on a semi-automatic weapon. 
Again, with the two scopes, this is a little bit longer range scope. This is a one to four times scope. I uh, like using this one because it kind of covers your entire uh, vision. You can kind of focus a little bit more, uh, get some better shots on them. So decided to go for a laser just in case you're close range. I do have the Candid PKO6 here, however. Um, went for a little bit of recoil and ergonomics on this one, so I decided to go with the... Um, forgot what this is. Forgot what uh, name of this. Okay, it's the RK1. So just a different mount. It's the Selenite one. I think it's the best one. And then the Atlas 7. Uh, this, in my opinion, is the best... Uh, muzzle break for this weapon so yep that is this gun we can go ahead oh and by the way i have not done this on this weapon but if you can actually get iron sights and iron sights for the m4 it's the um well, let me figure out what's called uh it's the embus rear and the embus front these give plus one ergonomics you want to go ahead and put these on your uh on any of your um, guns that can hold it. That's plus one ergonomics. Why would you ever want plus, not want plus one ergonomics? Same with the RP1. Got to make sure you do those things. But that's pretty much my uh, M1, M1A build. Uh, we can go ahead and move. To, I said the M14 earlier. I meant the M1A. Sorry. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and move to the MPX. So I've got a modding here. This is how I like to mod my MPXs. A little bit more long range. Um, honestly, it's kind of just for the looks. This thing does look pretty sweet. Uh, the Grawl is the best skeletonized M4 grip, any of the M4 based or MPX or any of that stuff. M1A, this is the best one to go for if it can fit. I'm pretty sure it's the best one in the game besides the MOE. So, And then you go with the shift grip. I like it because it's matching. It also gives a little bit more ergonomics because they went for the longer stock. Uh, whatever site you want to. This is It's a smaller ranged, smaller bullet. It's not going to go as, go as far. But decided to opt for a uh, shorter range scope without a um, candid sight as well. And then you've got the advanced buffer tube, all this other stuff. Just saying, use the MOE stock with the advanced buffer tube for eight ergonomics and then like 33 recoil. No, 43 recoil or something like that. So went for a laser just to get been close, and I decided to opt for silence for this one uh, just because I wanted to. So you could also mount those um, iron sights for plus one ergo. I just never did. So, this is my MPX build. Uh, we can go ahead and move on to the next one. Um, we're going to go ahead and go to the M4 now. Um, I love the M4. M4 is great. Uh, I kind of have two builds that I stick to. Uh, this is one of them. Um, I decided to go for a little bit more ergonomics on this one, but I would just say go for the MOE stock. That's the best one you can get. Overbought pad, advanced tube, and then the MOE stock. So, as you can see here, I did use the iron sights for that plus one ergo. I uh, got to use the Raptor charging handle. It's the best charging handle. Just buy it. It's not very expensive. Again, with the grow and the shift grip, and then the 60 round mag. Don't use the P mag. This one's slightly better than the P mag, just for an ergonomic standard. And then I went with the VP09 um, muzzle brake. And then with this one, you can go with the LVOAC S, or I would use the uh, one with the. Um, here, let me pull it up. This is actually the short one. Um, SAI, they make one for the short one, and then they make one for the long one. With the jailbreak, this is probably the best one, uh, but I do like the look of the other one as well. It's got a little bit, it's it's just, I, I, I like it. So this one's also nice. As you can see that I have one in here. This is also another build that I have. So it's not fully complete right now. This one's like kind of messed up. It's got the CSD. I'm pretty sure I got this up a player I killed. So, it's got the VP09, but it's got the jailbreak on it, which gives it that little bit more recoil, so. Um, I went with this scope, um, or you can go with the longer range with the candid sight. I just went with this one because I was playing labs uh, when I last used it, so. Yeah, that's pretty much this gun, um, I am for. Next, we're going to move to the um, HK. Uh, again, this is an order of usually when I receive these weapons. Um, this one has the Burris with the um, PK06. Again, I forgot to put the iron sights on for the plus one ergo. Definitely want to do that. That's totally a thing you want to go for. Raptor charge for the ergonomics. This one also has an advanced buffer tube, MOE, rubber butt pad. The way to go. The Grawl. I went with this one just because it has a little bit more recoil, just because this thing fires so damn fast. Um, go with a laser or something like that. Just whatever you want. Yeah, it's pretty much not much to it. Um, I don't really know much about these. I just went for the VP09 again. It's the way to go. You can go silence, but I like to I like people to know I'm there. <laughs> so uh, next, we're gonna go ahead and head over to the um, MP7. This thing is a lot of fun. I enjoy using the MP7. There's not much to mod to it. Um, 
I mean, you can stick the, uh, I'm pretty sure you can put the sights on it. I'm just not exactly sure if you can put them on. Uh, stick a laser on here if you want to. I've already got one. It went for a little bit of ergonomics and recoil, just because this thing doesn't have very much uh, recoil at all. I uh, went for a silencer on this one. Definitely the way to go. Um, it's got the foldable stock. This thing's tiny as hell anyway. And then the uh, 40 round magazine. So, PK06, it's what I like to use. There's not much modding to this thing anyway, but it's definitely a fun gun to use, and I do recommend using it. So these things do shred, especially if you're using APSX. But that's the uh, MP7. Next, we're going to move to the SA58. This thing is a lot of fun to use. Uh, I just get scared when I use them just because of how expensive they are. <laughs> um, again, with the MOE stock with the advanced buffer tube and the rubber butt pad. Uh, this is the AG foul, which is the best um, pistol grip for the SA58. For the uh, slanted, just for that little bit of recoil and uh, ergonomics. And then uh, this one is basically an EOTech scope with a magnifier in the back, but I decided to also go for the PK06 just because it, if you didn't know, the PK06, uh, Pestilly just did a video on it, but if you actually aim down sights with the candid sight, it is like a couple seconds faster than using just a regular sight if you have it on this, this side mount. So I definitely recommend having two different scopes. I may replace this one with the Burris. Just because I like the Burris, but that's just how I want to keep it right now. Uh, just went for a silencer on this one. I think it's just what I had on it. And this may have been a gun that I killed someone with that I just wanted myself. So uh, I would put the iron sights on it. I just haven't yet. I think you can put one on the front, but not on the back, just because this, this um, thing's here in the back. Went with a 30 round mag. If you're firing 50 rounds with this thing, it's kind of mental. Um, just reload, bring in more mags. You can use a 50 if you want to. I just don't. So. And this thing's a lot of fun now. I do kick some ass with this gun. And then finally, we love the RSAS. We're going to go ahead and move over to this thing. Now, I only have one of these since I died recently with my other one. But I do enjoy using the short barrel one preferably. But this is more of like that, that longer range sniping one. And as you can see, I do have the iron sights on both of them. Um, the RSAS is probably not my favorite gun. It is pretty fucking awesome though. I do like to use this thing a lot. Um... Just because you can only use 20 round magazines and stuff like that. It's because you've got the M1A. So, But I've gone with the EOTech. Same scope that I had on the SA58. Just tan. I've got the two tan iron sights for that plus one ergo. You already know. Um, advanced buffer tube. MOE stock. Rubber butt pad. It's the best way to go for this thing. Um, shift grip. With the uh, Grawl. Just for a little bit of ergonomics. Because this thing is massive. And then I've got a silencer on it. Just so I'm that little bit more sneaky. Um, for my other build, I usually do go with the shorter barrel, and then I'll go with like um, non-silence and stuff like that. So, But that's pretty much all I have for the modding section. Next, I can go ahead and just shoot each one and show you the recoil. But uh, this is it so far, and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks, guys. Alrighty, and where I want to be, I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, the recoil test. I'm just going to stand back in this corner against this uh, beam right here. Lay against it. Aim level with that, and just fire. I'm not going to fight the recoil, I'm just going to hold the trigger. That's the recoil for the uh, 545 AK. Now I'm going to show you the 7.62 AK. Jamming at the same spot, here's the 7.62 AK. It's in fucking semi. Definitely a lot more recoil on this one. Um, it is obviously a higher caliber, a bigger caliber, but it definitely has a little bit bigger of a spread. While this one is really up and to the left, this one bounces about and goes up and then down to the right as well. But now we can go ahead and move over to our next guns. Which are going to be the uh, MPX. Sherman Auto. Yep. which just was up and then down to, up to the right and down, so pretty much an opposite of a seven. So that was that. Next, we can go ahead and use the M1A. Which was pretty much just up and this little seven figure again, which was just like this. So it went hit here, up, and like this. We'll go ahead and
Those are the recoils of those guns. We can go ahead and show you how long it takes for the ergonomics of each weapon. I could just find my AK. So the ergonomics of this thing are 77. We're just going to go ahead and hold this thing. As you can see, I am level 38. Um, these are my stats, but that's as long as it took for the ergonomics of that thing until I ran out of uh, stamina. So we're going to go ahead and chuck that. Pick up the other gun, which was the MPX. And then I'll just show you the AKM as soon as I get back up to full stamina. Now the ergonomics of this thing are 62, so that's, what is that, 15 points lower than the... Uh, 545 AK. Obviously, it is a little bit bigger. I went for more of a recoil based stock, and then uh, this doesn't have as much ergonomics, and obviously, the um, foregrip has no ergonomics to it. I do have the RP1 on it, as you should have on it, but uh, let's go ahead and figure out how much, how long it takes. As you can see, this one did take a little bit less time for the uh, stamina run out because it does have 15 less points of ergonomics. Next, we're going to go ahead and do the MPX, and then we'll do the M1A. Just wait till our stamina is back. <clears throat> and this this can obviously depend on skills, uh, but the uh, ergonomics of this thing are 74. I obviously could get it up higher with the uh, two sights and go for the shorter barrel because this is kind of... Mm, kind of low for the uh, ergonomics of this thing, but go ahead and find out how long it'll take for this thing to run out. Go ahead and uh, drop this bad boy, and then we can do it on the MP7 and the M1A. And what I, is a big old girl. Uh, it has an ergonomics of 53, which is quite bad compared to the rest of the weapons. I have it with a recoil of 63 for an M1A. That is pretty insane. I definitely went for more of a uh, recoil build on this bad boy. However, ergonomics, I think, would be more uh, more important. So I could definitely go for a different um, stock. I could do it for a different foregrip. Uh, I could put on the iron sights just to increase the ergonomics. And I could go for a, um, a different... Um, for muscle break for more uh, ergonomics so all things to think about it could also go for the shorter barrel so it's went for more of a recoil build already up at full stamina and that's how long it took for us to run out of ergonomics or stamina on the m1a uh, obviously this thing is not as good on ergonomics and i could obviously put a different uh, two iron sights different stock a different foregrip and a different muzzle break to try to increase the ergonomics or i could just go for a different chassis overall to try to how to modify that so go ahead and drop that next we're going to go ahead and do the mp7 uh this thing has got 46 recoil which isn't much very at all and actually i think the stock pushed out actually does 11 more recoil uh degradation so we're going to go ahead and show you what this looks like it's in fucking semi Basically not very much at all. Uh, what it did was it went up, it peaked, and then it went back down and kind of leveled out around here with, with spots of variations and whatnot. And I will show you now the ergonomics of the MP7. Uh, this thing is pretty small, but the ergonomics really aren't that high compared to what you think it would be. Uh, let's go ahead and unfold it. That actually took fucking forever. I never want to do that again. Uh, the ergonomics of this thing are insane because it's just how it doesn't weigh anything. Uh, this thing literally weighs nothing. So, yeah, if you want a good ergonomics gun, opt for this one. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop in with the MP7 again and the HKM4 
RSAS, and whatever gun I'm... S58. So I will be right back. Alrighty, now we're going to go ahead and go over the recoil of each individual weapon. And I'll try not to fuck up the MP7 this time. Uh, this is the SA58. Make sure it's in fully auto. Hold on. There we go. Oh, God. Hold on. There we go. Alright, and with the thing, and now we're going to go ahead and fire. Uh, as you can see, this thing's fucking insane. Uh, it has an astronomical amount of recoil. It went up. Then it went around in a, what is that, half a heart? It looks like a heart, but like cut in half. So yeah, I definitely want to go for a recoil on this thing. I don't know how I've got it rigged out. It's probably one of the highest recoils you can get. Um, unless you do end up opting for a better foregrip. Uh, I would almost opt for it just because this thing's fucking mental. Um, next, let's go ahead and opt for the uh, RSAS and the uh, M4 after. Uh, the RSS is semi-automatic and only offers 20 round magazines. So that thing was all over. It's kind of hard to gauge recoil on a RSS. Uh, in current stat, this thing has 124 recoil, which is less than the uh, SA-58, but because it's semi-auto, it doesn't really do it as much because obviously once you fire, it goes back down. So, kind of hard to gauge the recoil from that. It's just how much you can drag your mouse down and, and how, how fast you want to fire. But that was the RSAS. Next, we're going to go ahead and do the M4 in the current build that I have. Uh, that's the HK. All right. We've gone ahead and got the M4. Make sure we're in the auto. And with the block, and here's the M4. Uh, that was the M4. Basically, it was just up, and then it was just like pattern here it was just kind of yeah like that but that was the m force recoil um i could definitely opt for a better recoil build if i ended up going for the longer barrel uh went for the jailbreak just things to think about went for more of an ergonomic build on this one and then we can go ahead and do the hk and then the mp7 go ahead and unfold that i don't forget all right, we've got the HK. Let's go ahead and aim for that. And this is the HK recoil. Remember, this thing does fire faster than the M4. All right. uh, that was the HK's recoil. It kind of just went up, and then it was just kind of like a pattern here. Uh, these bigger holes are basically what the HK has done. This thing does fire a lot faster, but I do have a longer barrel on this one, so... Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the HK. The ergonomics of this thing are 67. This is pretty much ergoed up. I could go with a shift grip, shift grip and a different uh, thing, but this is 67 ergonomics. But this is a heavier weapon. So we're going to go ahead and find out how long it takes. Alrighty, that's how long it took for the... Re uh, er shit. That's all I took for the stamina of the HK. I can go ahead and show you another weapon because this thing weighed so much, but the ergonomics were pretty high. It was pretty. I was. It was pretty decent uh, ergonomics. Next, we're gonna go ahead and do the SA58 and the M4. Start with the SA58. Uh, this thing does have 62 ergonomics, but it is a pretty heavy and long weapon. I'm not kind of interested in seeing how long it takes. Oh, we should probably make sure our stamina is all the way down first. Interestingly enough, it's a lot of noise when you do that. All right. As you can see, uh, the S58 did not take very long for the recoil to go away. Um, obviously, you can build a better recoil build, but in those long stalemate matches where you're kind of sneaking around and shit and getting ready to pop someone if you see them in the head, um, you probably would go for a more ergonomic build. But if you're going more fast paced, more of a long range shooting, like I don't know, interchange is somewhat, but but shoreline, I don't know, it all just depends on the map you're playing, um, it, it, what kind of play through you, uh, what kind of play style you like to have. We're going to go ahead and drop the SA-58, and try out the RSAS and the M4. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and do the RSAS first, actually, I think. Uh, they're going to obviously think R-63, but this is a pretty large weapon, so go ahead and find out what it is. So that was about similar to the SA-58. Uh, this thing is pretty ergonomic up. Uh, the next th best thing I could do is replace the stock and get more ergonomics out of that. 
uh, go for a different scope because this obviously does get rid of five ergonomics and then I could obviously go for a shorter barrel without the massive silencer because I'm pretty sure the silencer gets rid of a, a fair bit of ergonomics. Yeah, that's that's four ergonomics off that. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the M4, however. The M4 has an ergonomics of 88. This is the best uh, we've seen so far. It's probably better than the, um, than the MPX. However, this is more of an ergonomics build. Um, I could have gone for the shorter barrel and, and, and a shorter handguard and then a better um, a better uh, stock, but this one I found is, is pretty decent, so. Go ahead and uh, see how long this thing takes. I may need to go to the bathroom and I'll come back. So yeah, this thing's just not going to do anything. <laughs> the ergonomics are so high, the weight is so low. Um, I'm going to hold this thing forever. My weapon mastering is almost pretty close to, to, um, to mastered. At least for the first turn. I've already used the hell out of this gun. It's already down to 92.5. But M4 is fucking awesome. This thing in the HK are probably my my favorite. Not my favorite in like a cool aspect, but like probably the best guns to use. I'd recommend. Um, I like to go for the um, excuse me AK sometimes just to mix it up. And then if I like going you know you know badass thicker boy style, dude, I will run the fucking MP7 RSAS uh, or the um, or the SA58. So, the MPX I'll do just for fun, just to mix it up. Um, so yeah, that was all the ergonomics and all the recoils. Uh, all the recoil for each individual gun. Uh, leave in the comments which one you like the most, if you change something, or, or what you generally think, and, and leave me some ideas just to, so I can figure some stuff out. Um, whenever the ammo type, whenever, what builds I like to go for. Um, and we're going to do like maybe an experiment for like recoil versus ergonomics. So, but anyways, thank you guys for checking this out. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. Check out my other videos. I do some Tarkov stuff, some Rust stuff. I did some, some other stuff, some Nautica in there. Check it out. Again, thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.